Hello one and all, uh, welcome to a, another episode of JC TV. Uh, got an unboxing for you today. I got this through yesterday, I haven't had a proper chance to have a look at it. Um, but it is... Loot Crate. Now, uh, I believe that the theme of uh, this one uh, was called Build. Um, for those of you that have never had a Loot Crate, I've, I've never had one before, but I'm aware of what they are. Loot Crate is basically a subscription service. Uh, you can do it month to month, or you can do up to 12 months. And basically you get a box of goodies, uh, stuff that the, the company selected for you. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're a bit rubbish. Um, you could say it's a bit of a crapshoot with what you're going to get. But I wanted this one because um, it had some Lego Dimension stuff in. Now, it doesn't say exclusive, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to get. Anyway, let's go on with it, and uh, we'll see what we've got. So, I'm just going to open it up. Right, quick look for you. I don't want to see what it is. There you go, and we're going to have a rummage, I hope that was on camera, <laughs> I don't know, just looking to see. So we have a t-shirt, uh, probably have to stand up for this one, <laughs> that's kind of cool, that's kind of cool, okay, I'm not a big fan of this, but it is a cool shirt, I have to confess. It is a Power Rangers and Megazord uh, blueprint, I suppose, shirt. Uh, that is rather nice. Uh, it's quite simple and yet very, very effective. Um, I might keep it. It's a, another geeky shirt to have. I've got loads of ready t shirts. Um, as you see, I've got one up back behind me there. Um, I get people buying for me. I don't I, you know, I don't buy a lot of myself these days, but people do tend to buy me these geeky shirts. Oh, oh god, can't get down that low. I'll have to put it on my lap. <laughs> right, okay. The next item is something Batman related. Looks like Lego Batman. Ah, okay. Looking at the top it says it's a food container. Uh, yeah, okay. That's kind of cool. Bit small for probably putting anything very much in, I would have thought. Yeah. You're not going to fit your spaghetti in that, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's quite nice. I quite like that. Um, not sure what I'll do with it yet. It looks as though it ought to be Lego Batman, so I'm assuming that's that's what the build element comes in. Um, yeah, so here's this reasonable bit of space inside. I suppose you put, I don't know, biscuits or, as you most like to call them, cookies in there. Um, yeah. Oh, it leaves a little bit fiddly to get back on straight as you do get that with these sort of things. They're always a little bit fiddly, but yeah, not bad. Kind of different. I'll put it back in the box for now. Get in there. Right, okay, the next thing we have, I'm trying not to look inside. Uh, I'll leave that because that is the main reason I got it. I know that that is Lego related. Okay, oh, we have a pin. Power Rangers again. I suppose they are, uh, it's a bit weird them having it with build, but I suppose, yes, technically, they're building the Megazord. Whatever. Well, that's not a bad pin either. Uh, I'll take it out of the, the bag so you can have a proper look at it. Yeah, it's, that's, that's quite nice. Nice and colourful. Reasonably detailed. Um, 
I might go up on the lowest board, maybe. I've got loads of pins from, like, going way back, um, which, if people are interested, I can show you at another time. Just let me know. Comments below, all that. Okay, what else have we got? We have... Oh. Get around the right way. <laughs> Okay, that's really cool. Okay, I can't like that. That's 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 cool. It's a Tetris fridge magnets, basically. So I'm assuming you can put them whatever way you want. Um, put them up. Yeah, I, I, I mean I've got a few fridge magnets and that that people have given me. Um, some of them are looking a bit tacky now, so they might be useful. Um, keep all me things like the hospital points and some stuff close to hand. Yes, I know, I've got the notes board as well, but it's it's, it's easier just to have them on the fridge because then obviously when I go to it, um, it's there and I see it and it reminds me. Um, but yeah, I like those. They're quite nice. Uh, try not to look. Don't look. You don't want to know yet. <laughs> uh, what else? We got, oh, we've got a few bits and pieces here. And then I think we're on to the the main thing. Uh, let's have a look. We have secret order of the keys. Whatever that is. Um, unlock the mysteries. It says on the back. Get the old light focus on it. Get a bit of glare through the old window. Um, I'm assuming it's some sort of game and um, that is an exclusive for you, uh, I don't know, um, I may type it in and see um, if it's any good and uh, maybe put a, a comment below later on once i found out, uh, so that's that. We have a postcard with the logo on. Um, um, oh, I see. Right, okay. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, kind of clever. Alright, uh, it's basically the new logo from Loot Crate. And they're just basically saying uh, it's their fifth anniversary, new logo. And the logo is designed to be a window into the world. Uh, stories and characters we all love, uniting all our crates under a single banner. Right now, we love you, Chris and Matthew, co-founders of Loot Crate. Well, thank you very much, Chris and Matthew. I'm sure if I ever met you, I'd probably think you were very nice people too. Um, how about giving me some free stuff to review? Yeah, then that means you really love me. <laughs> hey, if you don't ask. You don't know. Okay, there's a book which I am assuming has got all the details. Yeah, it's all the details about the various stuff that you've got. Um, okay, yeah, I'll have, I'll have a look at that later. I'll go through that with you. And we're on to the last part. Uh, before I do that, I have noticed something in this box. I don't know if you can see that. Now, I know from seeing other people's reviews that sometimes they give you things to make. I'm probably not going to worry about it too much because too hard is for of it are. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Anyway, this is the that I was after and I'm looking at it at the same time as you are. <sighs> Bugger. Okay, they've, I was hoping they would do an exclusive, they haven't, um, which I kind of expected to be honest because they, did, they didn't actually say on there that there was going to be an exclusive. Uh, anyway, it is uh, Cyborg for the Lego Dimensions. Now I do already have this. Um, 
if anybody's got a kit uh, that they don't want uh, and would want to do a swap with me, uh, I'm quite happy to do that. Um, I've also got a Gremlins one. Um, I somehow managed to get a duplicate. Um, I know a friend bought me one. I don't, I don't know how they got the other. Some other, I think another friend bought me it as well. It's a duplicate Christmas present. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, if anybody wants to swap that with me, uh, let me know what you've got, and uh, I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. But you know, not bad. Um, and the, I mean, the box was. Uh, just under 22 quid, that's including postage, didn't have any customs to worry about, anything like that. And when you think that the Lego kits are about 15 quid, so, I mean, that's that's pretty good with all the, the, the stuff you've got. I've probably got about, oh, I don't know, 35 quid worth of stuff maybe? Maybe even 40. Um, but anyway, looking at the book, uh, yes, it's building a loot bot. Instructions, as I say, I don't know that I can be asked with all that. Um, that's that. Uh, tell you a little bit about the t the shirt. That is the, the classic Megazord from the first series. That's really the main series that I ever knew. Um, I was a bit old, really, to be watching that kind of thing. But I always thought the robot was kind of... All right, the an animation was crappy. But I always thought the robots and the Zords were kind of cool. You know, big big robots. That, that's, that's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, so that's, that, that's the T-shirt. Uh, there's a few bits and facts and figures and... Stuff, uh, top five Rangers series, the ones that people liked and didn't like. Um, there's the bit about the the uh, food container. Doesn't actually say that it's anything to do with Lego as such. It's just Batman. Uh, so if it's not Lego, I'm not sure where the build influence comes into it. I mean, it looks like Lego to me, so we're, we're going to assume it's Lego. Doesn't, there's no logo on there to say, but we're, we're, we'll assume that. Uh, listen, we've still got plenty of recipes in here. It's a bit weird, okay. Um, got about the different crates they've got. Oh, here we are with the Lego. Oh. <laughs> so I thought, right, okay, definitely if you've had one of these and you have Unikitty, I want Unikitty. Not because I like the character, it's because there's a part of the game that I'm still trying to complete and you have to have Unikitty to do it. So if you've got a spare Unikitty, you've got this box and you've got the Unikitty spare and you want to swap it for a cyborg, let me know in the comments below. We'll get in touch, we'll work something out. But you can't really see that very well. Okay, um, sorry about the camera, but basically you could have had uh, Good Cop, Bad Cop, Wonder Woman, Unikitty, as I've said, Benny, or Cyborg, which is what I got. Um, okay, uh, what else? Looks like they're doing a Marvel box. Um, I'm assuming this is one of their speciality crates. Again, I don't know if you can see that very well, the light shining on it. That might be worth looking into. Um, I think with these things, it's very much a case of what you're looking for. See, I like, I like collecting pops. So, things like the, the Smuggler's Bounty, um, Marvel Collector Calls, Legion of Heroes maybe even the new Disney one are interesting because you get a character that you won't get anywhere else, you know, unless you're going to fork out for it on eBay, of course. Um, okay, so that's that. Uh, said about the fridge magnets. Um, well, uh, nothing... 
nothing overly major on there listed, but it just tells you what they are. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So I've traveled dry throat this morning. Um, ah, well, this is quite nice. Um, I have already read these because uh, I was interested to see where they were going to go with it. Um, you can get some free digital comics. Uh, basically, the pin, I'm assuming, has got some sort of code. I didn't have a proper look, but it's got some sort of code or something on it. Yeah, it's got a code on it. So I'm assuming you type that in and it gives you your free digital comics. Um, this is from Comixology, which is a uh, thing Amazon's been doing for a while now. I uh, don't really know much about it, how it works, but yeah, if you want some free comics and you're not worried about having the physical uh, copies, then that's good. Uh, you get Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, 0 and number 1, and Mighty Morphin Rangers Pink number 1. So, free comics for nothing. That's cool. Free is a good price. We all like free. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, did you see there's anything else? No, I think that's pretty much it. It doesn't say to you what that order of the keys thing is about. Um, so I suppose we'll just have to try it and see. It's probably crap, but we can we can uh, we can have a look. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's uh, just gives you. It's it's nice to have a you know some when, when a lot of them they just do like just a card with the very basic details on it. That's that's not a bad little booklet. Uh, you could sit there read that for ten minutes or so, and it probably got some interesting bits and pieces there. You know, it depends how much of a geek you are and how much you're into the particular items and all the rest of it. But uh, that is it for today. Um, I do have some more boxes on the way. Um, I've got, um, I think I may have said I've got the, the Marvel's Collector Corp, uh, Superhero Showdown. That's on the way. I've got a Pop in the Box subscription on the way. Uh, I've got some knickknacks coming from China. For um, a separate little thing that I'm going to be doing later, um, you'll see that as and when. Uh, I've got more under a five of bits and bobs, uh, which I'll reveal all over the next few weeks and months. Um, and basically, if you if you have something that you want me to review, uh, do let me know. I will try and do it. Uh, I am on a limited budget. So I'm not going to be able to do it all the time, but if you say, oh, you know, can this month, can you do, say, I don't know, Band Box or My Geek Box or whatever, uh, I'll have a look at it, and if it's something that I think I might like, uh, then yes, by all means, uh, I'll get one and review it for you. Um, so that's that. Uh, anything else? No, I think that's it. Um, as per usual. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it, and even if you you don't like it, give us a thumb down. Uh, any feedback I can use, yeah. And yes, even the trollers, right? Because it's just it's just fun stuff to see what people come up with. Um, I may even do that as a section at a later date when I get more people involved. Um, yeah, stick a comment below. Um, Hit the old subscribe button, that's down there, and you've got this bell icon thing that's supposed to apparently give you updates and your emails, all the rest of it. Uh, please tell your friends, your family, your loved ones, your enemies, anybody you can think of about my channel, and um, we'll get this building and building, and uh, you never know, I might do a giveaway once we get enough people. Just thinking about it, little ideas I'm toying with. Right. So that is it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you sometime later on this week. Cheers.